Foster. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? Them. You will never understand. Never! again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself! Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. No sleep for you either, huh? Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. And it bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. 
Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. And the rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. 
There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. Thank you. If we hadn't run into you two, Zila would have had to venture into the Fragmentum on her own. I know it's not her first rodeo, but the thought of her taking on those horrid monsters... I can't help but worry. Well, she grew up before my eyes, after all. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Zila has been like this since she was little. Impulsive and eager to be the best. For people who don't know her, they might find her... difficult. But you can trust her, even with your life. Stick around a bit longer, and you'll see what I mean.
We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get rid of it. the moment! <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. A uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <laughs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. I'm with you. <laughs> Let's make it quick. That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Name of Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters. A thousand wonders to fight as one. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Looks good. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible. <laughs>
There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Seize the moment! <laughs> Let's go! Naughty child. <laughs> Hope you're prepared! Welcome, customers! Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Much better. Yeah. <laughs> a delicate operation. Can we talk? <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. In the name of Landau, will forged in ice, never falters! Let's make it quick. That's better. Huh. Better late than never. Let's go! A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! <laughs> Fight is one! This ends here. I'm with you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Victory means preparation. We're in trouble now. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Name of Landau. Will forged in ice. Never falters. <laughs> 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 
Hope you're prepared. Rules are made to be broken. Naughty child. Nap time. Let's make it quick. Landau, a will forged in ice, never falters!
<laughs> Rules are made to be broken. If I change Peppy's diet, he won't shed so much. No, no, I wouldn't bring Peppy without letting you guys know first. You have a lot on your plate. I wouldn't want you to worry about having to take care of him. I knew there were no pets on the express, but I saw signs of shedding. That's when I realized that, uh, maybe the conductor was having the same problem. That's why I wanted to get Pom Pom's advice. After I told Pom Pom about Peppy shedding, they shared some cooking tips that should help solve the problem. I'll start him on the new diet when I get back. Hope he isn't too picky.
they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Mm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Looks good. materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. <sighs> Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? always a way. Don't be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us. What do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. Two hundred. What? Uh... Two hundred shield? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. <laughs> My daddy... <sighs> Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. W what's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. 
There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, when do I feel like I've seen them before? But when? Delicate operation. Child. Now time. 
Rules are made to be broken. Welcome, customers. This ends here. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Let's go. Hope you're prepared. And here. Take me. Reach the end of the story in your own way.
I'm with you. Found. Seize the moment. than medicine. more than medicine. Now. This ends here. Let's be friends. I've been waiting a while. 
Much Some better. customers. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Better late than never. This ends here. In the name of Landau. The will forged in ice never falters. Much better. Yeah! You pay for that. Let's make it quick. This ends here. Gratitude. Looks good. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs, they seem to have become more narrow. of Landau. The will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. This ends here. Naughty child. <laughs> Better late than never. Ends here. Yeah. 
In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! That's better. Much better. Make it quick. Rules are made to be broken. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Fight is one. I'm fresh shot. Let's go. <laughs> A delicate operation. Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know... If we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. <sighs> we made it! Hmm, it's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. Hey, where are you going? Let's look around the orphanage first. Crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. <sighs> no. No. <sighs> empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! We're in trouble now! Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Time for a shot. That's better. Much this better. This ends here. Welcome, customers. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Let's be friends. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. Welcome, customers. Yeah! 
In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. A thousand wonders to raise your spirit and fight as one. Rules are made to be broken. Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. You have my gratitude. <laughs> this ends here. Hope you're prepared. Let's be friends. Yeah! Let's go. That's better. Justin, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Welcome, customers. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. To raise your spirit and fight as one! Let's go! In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! Take it on by myself. But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on! The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. 
After over 10 years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I couldn't out wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm, how boorish. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! And it's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? adopted me. I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Kokolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future... I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. Have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day, I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... What? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? 
You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week. <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. <sighs> I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay, I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. I should let those two be alone. The only thing left to find that sound oh here we found it thank you perkins don't mention it clara warning warning danger detected protect clara initiating active defense mode Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. for these painkillers too. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miners are no different. <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. 
Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. No. Mr. Svara, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Svarag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarag doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. Mr. Svarag doesn't want to hurt people, but he always follows the calculations of his analysis. He thinks that interaction with humans is... inefficient. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Svarag wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Yes. Mr. Svarag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back.
It's getting late. Where to now? Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers. Rubbing alcohol. Ah, oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just... There are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Oh, Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. I'm sure they won't mind. They seemed in good spirits. <laughs> I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Already? <laughs> Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye. Holder is right here. 
<laughs> and that's something to be proud of? <laughs> well, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian... All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarog, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice. And I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. What about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarok. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Belabok. If Svarog's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady and spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svara. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. 